Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my 2024 Pan Those Eyeshadows intro. It is only a quarter of the way through the year, so I think we can still start this. It'll be fine. In case you're unfamiliar with this project, this is a project I started a few years ago and I basically just go through my entire collection of eyeshadows and try and use them until I hit pretty shiny pans in the eyeshadows. I personally like to use this project as a way to work through my entire collection rather than constantly purchasing new items and I feel like we've had some pretty good success over the past couple years. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's intro. Let's go ahead and start with some numbers. I can't remember the exact number of eyeshadows, individual pans of eyeshadow I own. And when I say pans of eyeshadow, I mean like individual shades. So this is one palette with what is this like 14 pans of eyeshadow. And like I said, our goal is to hit that shiny pan at the bottom of each of the pans of eyeshadow. If I'm remembering correctly, I wanna say we're about 3,100 eyeshadows or so. And my current pan percentage out of all of the shades of eyeshadows that I have, I have 1.68% so that means 1.68% of my current eyeshadow collection has pan in it. That does not include eyeshadows that I've completely used up. Once I completely use up a product, completely finish it, I do roll that out of the spreadsheet that I have all of my eyeshadows listed on. So those are not included in my current pan percentage. The only shades that count towards my pan percentage are shades that are not finished that have pan in them. So this number definitely fluctuates as I finish things and get new things, it changes constantly. But let's go ahead and start with kind of like the rules of the project. In the past, I've randomized shades from my entire collection and I feel like that's been fun for the mystery aspect, but quite frankly, I just don't find myself liking that method anymore. I like to use more of what I wanna use. Like I have a big collection, I wanna pick what I wanna use. So I am switching that up, at least for this initial intro round. I did select all the shades that I am rolling into this project and I also changed up one more rule from previous projects. I normally work on six shades at a time and this year I decided to bring that down to five. I just felt like six was very overwhelming and five is a pretty good number where I get variety but I'm also not in over my head. And that with the combination of hand picking the shades that I want to work on I think is definitely going to help with the project this year. So. Before we jump into that, I do have a bonus pan that I have hit that I did not share, I don't think, in any of my projects. This is from the Norvina palette, and I'm sure you've already seen it, but I did manage to hit pan on base. I use this primarily just to like set the concealer on my eyelid, and yeah, it was a pretty easy shade to work through. Y'all know I like to work through the whites, the creams, the super easy colors. I just go through those like crazy. Now we can go ahead and hop into the shades that I am selecting to roll into this project. Like I said, I might gravitate towards doing the random number thing again, but for right now, I just feel like this is kind of what I'm drawn to at the moment. So we're gonna start with my unofficial Pan That palette, my ABH Soft Glam. This palette I have used absolutely insane. I have hit pan in quite a few of these shades as you can see, but I wanna hit pan in all the shades by the end of the year in this palette in particular. And so for this first initial round, I want to work on the shade Rustic, which is this dark brown down at the bottom. It does have a little bit of use on it because I have unofficially been working on this for a hot second, but this is just a really pretty like medium toned brown. And I feel like this will go really good with all sorts of neutral looks. I feel like for work in particular, I've been gravitating towards more professional neutral looking looks and the colorful looks I tend to wear on like my off days or out with friends. So I think I will get a lot of everyday use out of this one. But of course, you know me, I can't not have color. So we are also rolling in the Michaela Glam Light palette. This is the second one, I believe. This is so huge. And the shade that I wanna work on is Mama Wang, which is this light lavender. It's actually one of the lavender shades I'm using right in my inner corner today. I just have really been drawn towards purples recently, like those violets and lavenders. I think they're so pretty. And for spring, I'm so excited to get more use out of this. Like, look how gorgeous that is. It matches my shirt perfect. So I definitely want to incorporate some purple into my looks right now. I'm kind of feeling that lavender vibe. Shade number three is actually one of my Super Shock shadows. This is from the ColourPop and Tinkerbell collection. It is straight on till morning, which is this really pretty 
green shimmer. I actually reviewed and did some looks with this collection on my channel when it came out like two years ago or something. But this is literally one of my favorite shades from the entire collection. I just think it's super pretty. Some of my favorite colors to wear are greens and I think the combination of the lavender and the green are gonna look so pretty. I can kind of do the monochromatic looks or even maybe do something kind of like what I did today but with like a green and purple vibe instead of a green and blue or what is this blue and purple sorry. I'm very excited to work on those two shades in particular. I think they will be really fun to work on throughout the upcoming month. And the last two shades I have are definitely pick me shades. They are definitely ones that I know I'm going to be off on a good foot with these. So up first we have the Beauty Bay Retro Love Palette and the shade I've selected is Good Vibrations, which is this um, like rose gold shimmer shade. I think this is a really pretty shade. It's super shifty, super blinding. Beauty Bay does shimmers so good. And I'm very excited to actually hit pan on this because I feel like I've unintentionally been trying to hit pan on it for a while. And these palettes in particular are really easy to work through, so I'm not too worried about it taking too long. I literally think maybe in a couple uses I will have pan in this palette. And last but not least, I'm going to be working out of this palette that I don't actually think I can say this word on the internet without getting demonetized. But this is uh, from Jeffree Star. We'll call it the Ogre palette. Um, but the shade that I want to work on is I'm Shy, which is right up at the top. Jeffree shadows are very, very densely pressed. So they do take me a really long time to work through, but I'm hoping because I already, I don't even know if you can tell because it's a white shade. I have worked on this a, a fair amount. I would say I'm like halfway through it. So um, I'm hoping to maybe hit pan in that one. I'm using this as my lid setting shade. If you've watched my project in previous years, y'all know I love to work on like a lid setting shade or just like a very easy blending shade. Um, as an everyday shade. I almost always set my eye primer with a shade like this and if I'm using concealer on my eyes instead of an eye primer I almost always set my concealer as well. So I do want to get some use out of this and hopefully hit pan. I don't want to assume that I'll have pan by my first update but I definitely think it's possible with how much use is on this shade already. As always please let me know if you are also doing this project. I love to follow along with everyone else that's doing it and let me know what you think about the hand selecting versus the randomizing shades. I'm definitely open to suggestions and with that I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye friends!